It's great to see this study talking about fermentation and get a presenter to hold his nose while we got him to taste lots of chocolate. An amazing new study on fermentation focused on Colombian beans was released and I had the opportunity to go to the BBC, talk to BBC Worldwide, Tim there, and basically explain how fermentation is just wonderful news. The study isn't particularly new in terms of the impact of flavor. We've known for a long time that basically whether you do box, whether you do heap, how many times you turn it, what sort of bacteria you get, what the shape of the boxes are, this all makes a huge difference. But what's great to see is people focusing back on the idea that flavor is what you want. Because fermentation is just one of those great steps, starting with great beans, starting with great soil, all the way through to roasting, which creates all that amazing flavor. Now the bad news is this isn't really going to have much impact on supermarket chocolate because there it's all about sugar, salt and fat and they just really just want commodity beans and so you know yes they can know how to ferment better but fundamentally they're really just about consistency. But it's great to see this study talking about fermentation and it was great to go on the BBC and get a presenter to hold his nose while we got him to taste lots of chocolate. If you want to try some great bars to explore fermentation, Mikel Frizz Holmes double and triple turn fermentation, subtle but really quite there. If you want to try some interesting new approaches to fermentation, Rogerio from Mastico has been trying anaerobic fermentation, so that's really worth a try. And then finally, try Fu Wan's bars because what Pali Pali has been doing there is adding fruit to to some of the fermentations to create all sorts of new sensations and delights. Thank you, enjoy, and savor the flavor.